Right across Birmingham and the black country, we have the largest Sikh population outside London. Now they're being asked to come forward to share stories of migration. The project, being led by the Nishkam Civic Association, is looking to create a collective picture of what happened and individual experiences too. This has inspired our arts reporter Satnam Rana to find out about her family's past. The faces of immigration in Wolverhampton in 1968 documented in a BBC programme. They chose to live in these areas because rents were lower and most of them already had friends and relations here. It was my maternal grandfather Prakash Singh Tahim who made a journey from North India in Punjab to the UK in 1963. From Leicester then to Huddersfield. And finally to a place that I call home, Wolverhampton. But finding work wasn't that easy. Hello Bibs. Hello. I lost my grandfather, known as Papaji, a few weeks ago, but his wife, my grandmother, recalls what happened. He couldn't find work. They said he looked too old. Then his cousin in Leicester said, you may have to cut off your beard and take off your turban. Once he did, the same factories that had once turned him away took him on. By 1966, the rest of his family had joined him, and here they are, many years later. My grandfather always wanted his children to build a better life through education, something he'd been denied in India, and this was his main reason for migrating. Everyone used to say, why are you educating your children, especially your daughters? Your mum said, if you can send my brother to London to study, why can't you send me to nursing college in Birmingham? He agreed. The younger ones went to university too. It's stories like ours that the Nishkam Civic Association in Birmingham is looking to document. The Heritage Lottery funded project is seeking men and women who've made similar journeys here from the 50s right through to the present day. That generation is getting older and as they're, as they're passing they're taking those stories with them. So unless they've actually told you something personally, you won't know who these people were and what they contributed to the region. When my grandfather retired, he returned to being a turban-wearing Sikh. He also helped set up a Gurdwara in Wolverhampton in the 70s. And he's left behind a legacy spanning generations, cultures and ethnicities. Satnam Rana, BBC Midlands Today, Wolverhampton. Well, we've had the forecaster's nightmare the last few days. Fog and frost, and I need.